Hello there, Tony Medley once again and welcome back to my workshop. Um, if you remember last week's video, uh, I done a, a, what was so called wonky goblet. I'm going to do a wonky um, candlestick. Now, the way that I showed you last week, I didn't, I wasn't happy with it at all. I've seen many people do it and it's turned out absolutely wonderful. I just didn't think there was, a, it was probably me, didn't have enough angle on it. So I'm going to show you the other way, when I, I mentioned last week that the, there was a couple of ways how to do it. And um, I will show you uh, how to do it this way. Um, you need a little tool and it's, it's very simple to make. And all it is, it's just something to go in, into, your, in, into your chuck. I've, I've marked it there and I always put them between one and four. Uh, and then obviously a three and a half inch screw. Uh, I've put a, I've drilled a three, uh, sorry, a two and a half millimeter hole right the way through while it was in the drill with the Jacobs chuck, so you know that it's exactly centre. And I'll show you exactly what we do uh, as we go on. So I've got uh, a nice piece of spotted beach here. We're going to um, mark this, mark the centre. I'll get the centres, get it rounded off. Uh, get a couple of chucking points in it and then we will start the, you know I'll, I'll do it step by step and um, so anyway without further ado we're going to get it in the lathe mark the centers off get it in the lathe and then obviously get it around and then I'll, I'll show you step by step how I made it right just mark a little X for to find the center I've already put the step centers in so on this side because I prefer to have it in the chuck it's just a little bit more safer I feel more confident um, all I'm going to do off camera now I'm going to take the step centers out and we'll get it turned round and then we'll get this end and we will make this into the top of the candlestick right just before I put it into the chuck all I've done um, we've got the center marked off there and then we, I've extended this mark across and all I've done, I've put a mark and it's quite lucky because the, um, the step centre itself has already put a mark on for me. But it's 10 millimetres from the centre mark either way and what we're going to do is drill a two and a half millimetre hole in them three. So it's, it's in, one in the centre, then 10 millimetres out, another hole, 10 metres out, 10 millimetres out that way and then drill another hole uh, and that's where the screw is going to go. A two and a half millimetre drilling into my drill but it's so important that when you drill down that it is kept um, vertical at all times so you get a nice vertical hole. There, I don't know whether you can see that, but there's, there's the three holes drilled and I'll explain what we're going to do later on. Right, if you put it back into the chuck, in the centre, centre it up and then back into the chuck and we will make this end uh, where the candlestick hole is going to go in. Right, I would guess about, um, I like to use about an inch and a half from the or 40 millimeters is roughly about that. So we're gonna make that the, the candle holder and then take it down at this point here.
Well, I've marked it with the um, the parting tool, but don't go, don't be tempted to go too deep. I like to keep all the strength in this and work along as we're going along. Um, I've got a 40, I use these 40 millimeter tea light holders where they just, you just put the little tea light inside there. I've got uh, a 40 millimeter Forstner bit, but what I have to do, uh, it's 40 millimeters on the inside, so I have to just scrape a little bit out just to make it fit. And then obviously we can bring the tail stock back up to start going along. Obviously once it goes off center, it won't be. So we'll get that drilled and get that so that it gets it to, to fit and then we'll take it from there. As I explained, I just need to take a little scraping off there, but I think it wants to be a little bit deeper. Got it so that it takes the candle holder. Uh, I've just brought the tail stuck up for added security. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a little bit of shaping on here, and the same as when we done the the, um, the wonky goblet, is we will sand it and polish it as we go along. Uh, it just makes it much more easier. Right, I'm just gonna sand it down now. Um, I'll show you this one, but I'm not gonna show you it every time because there's nothing worse or boring than somebody uh, sanding things down. So I'm gonna sand it down 120, uh, 180, 240, and 320. Sanded it down, uh, as I said, down to um, 320 I used. Then I, I used Yorkshire grit, sand concealer, then Yorkshire grit. Uh, then I've put three coats of polish on. Uh, I normally put foam, but it, it's just exceptional wood. Uh, I might put a final coat of micro crystalline wax in when, when it's all finished. What I'm gonna do now is just go down 10 millimeters as it's in the chuck and then we will go uh, on different um, axes I think they call them. to 25 millimeters and I've just rounded that off and as I said earlier on sand and prepare the wood as you go along what I have to do now uh, is to the the, the, the holes of the, that we drilled through 10 millimeters from the center we have to uh, screw the uh, the chuck into it and you've got to make sure that it goes in nice and square or vertical if you're doing it up you know on, on its top end but all you do is take that in screw it in obviously you've already drilled it so it's got somewhere you're just putting the threads on it to be quite honest so take that in screw it all the way home
obviously as I showed you I put it on uh, the left hand side axis and um, took it down to a diameter of 25 millimeters and all I'm going to do every 25 millimeters I'll change you over and then as I said earlier that you must um, polish finish and polish it on every every time that you do it and we'll continue on we'll probably go to about here and see what it looks like um, it's not looking too bad so it's something different so what we'll do we'll polish this up then we'll go we'll mark it off in sections of 25 millimeters and take it down to a diameter of 25 millimeters uh, I think the best thing to do we'll take it to the center one next time then to the uh, right hand side one and so on until we get to where we want to be I've marked them off in increments of 25 millimeters. I'm not sure how long we're going to go. We don't want to get it too high because it won't stand up or it will be very, very shaky. So I would have said suggested about four or five. Um, so I've marked them off at 25 millimeters. We're going to take them down. I've moved it back into the center uh, axis and uh, then obviously we'll continue on. So we'll, we'll take this one down now which will match that one, then we'll go the other side. Well, I've done enough, I think, for them. I think all I'm going to do now, if we make it too long, it'll just be too high. So all I'm going to do is finish this off now, make the base, part it off, and we'll make that do. We'll get it all polished up, um, and then we'll take it from there.
Hello there, well, got it done. Um, am I pleased with it? I don't think so. I've seen far, far better. Nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, it's it's okay. I've got the candlestick holder in the top. Uh, nice bottom, but um, I prefer it where they've got the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The chamfered parts rather than the um, the camshaft effect but anyway it's not bad at all it's something for you to go away and you can try and put your own stamp on it uh, I have to admit that's the second time I've done it the first one was with the uh, with the chamfered effect and I should have mixed the two and I probably will do in another in another video anyway uh, as you're already aware that the uh, the website's now up and running and if you fancy anything that I've made please go on there uh, I'll put a link to it in the comments um, if you haven't already please subscribe if you like what I'm doing please give me the thumbs up uh, it does mean a lot to me it's how YouTube measure me um, and all I can say is keep uh, watching thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you on the next video Thanks very much now. Bye.